Hello, my name is Ricky and I am a phone addict. Now, I'm not going to be alone here. There's going to be many of us in the community that have this exact same feeling. Whether you are a content creator or you just use your phone for eBay and buying and selling practices, or you are both, this is probably going to resonate with a few people. So as I started off with very dramatically on purpose in the beginning of this video, I am a phone addict. I'm addicted to my phone. And it's something that I've been trying to overcome for a very, very long time now in one way or another. I'm actually going to protect that with plastic. Being a seller on eBay, I need my phone. It's not as easy as just putting it in the cupboard and forgetting about it like most people suggest when you believe you have an addiction to your phone. I've tried getting an iPad and using that as my eBay and splitting the two, but now I just use my iPad for online editing because I need my phone to have a lot easier, a lot more quicker to use. But with that comes other things. I'm a content creator as well as selling on eBay. So I have Instagram, I have YouTube, I have TikTok. Now what happens is, not only am I a creator on those social platforms, I'm a consumer as well, a heavy consumer. And it's something that I'm very aware is damaging my mental health and my ability in many areas of my life. And I'm missing out on a lot mainly plots to films and stuff. Constantly scrolling while I'm watching a film. Unless I really, really like it. The first 10 minutes of the film needs to grab me by the balls and throw me on the floor for me to really take interest. This is a M&S plush Venus flytrap, by the way, sold for 11 pound. That took me so long to say, by the way. I'm actually gonna cut it out. I have an addiction to my phone. And I've been trying to work on it for a long time now. But what happens is, for me, I can only talk from my own experiences, hoping that other people can draw on it. If I upload a YouTube video or a TikTok or an Instagram, I am constantly getting notifications when it's fresh that I am drawn to and attracted to and then keep checking and responding to. What annoys me is last night, this guy here thought he was being very, very clever and came at it the completely wrong way. But it annoys me because he is right and the fact that I'm making this video now, which I already had planned a week ago to make, he's gonna think he's drawn this out. So I give you your props, you're correct. You spoke about it in the completely wrong, the wrong way. I've really hurt my tongue, by the way. You spoke about it the wrong way, but you are correct. And this video has got nothing to do with you. So you can't get those props, all right? Because I'll, I'll be honest, if it was about what you said, I'd give you the props, but it's not. But you are correct, annoyingly because I think he was being an ass. So what I'm getting at is the struggle I have is how do I release myself from phone addiction when my phone is my job? eBay, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I am a content creator. They are my job. They pay me money as well as eBay. So I need to continue having that and keep doing that. So I'm just stuck. I am completely... Notification. Didn't turn my notifications off again. I am completely stuck. I've tried downloading all these different apps that block things and move things and minimalize things and make your home screen look like a notepad, just black and white. Nothing works. So I'm stuck basically. Don't really know what I'm supposed to do to move past it. I would definitely take any suggestions anybody has because I am weak, I am very weak. I have my group chat that I'm in and it's constantly going off daily. I've got, I've got that muted. Listen, don't think, don't think I haven't taken any precautions anywhere. I have most of my notifications off on applications, WhatsApp, Instagram, my Facebook group, all those different things. My notifications are generally off, but I still click the app icon and go into it. So it's just like, I just get stuck as a content creator, eBay reseller, how to get past phone addiction. Now, you can come into the comment section and say, just don't go on Instagram, mate. Just don't go on TikTok, mate. I enjoy the apps. I'm a consumer. I like to see what everybody's doing. I like to see what the latest trends are that's happening. I like to see the way editing has moved forward with people. I like to see all these different things and see where the world is moving and where the world is going. 
I get a lot of my information from these platforms. I get a lot of my current world information from these platforms. I get the news that I want to consume from these platforms, not what the BBC wants me to consume. They just have a big part in my life, but I feel like the part that they have in my life is too big. They don't deserve or it doesn't warrant the amount of time. I mean, my screen time alone, just for this week alone, is an average of nine and a half hours a day. That's actually down 30%. Also, bear in mind, I do have on rain sounds, white noise, all those different types of things and podcasts while I'm sleeping. I can't sleep in silence. I have, I have tinnitus and it's a pain in the ass all the year. And I have an overactive mind regardless. So as soon as I have silence, even though the silence has been stolen from me, my brain starts going into overdrive. So I have like things running most of the night while I'm asleep. So obviously that adds to the to the screen time as well. But does it? I don't know if it does or not. I just need to cut it down. Now I can almost guarantee there's a lot of you that feel the same way. Because I can't be the only person who sells on eBay, which means he's constantly on, on his phone. I can't be the only person who sells on eBay and does some kind of social media form content as well as eBay and be the person who is addicted to their phone. Any moment that I have a bit of, there's nothing going on, I'll reach for the phone. And that is a weakness. That is a weakness that I don't want to have anymore. Cool little gamepad. Uh, sold for $12.99, all in, PC Gravis gamepad. So I would love some tips. I would love some ideas. I'd love some thoughts. I'd love everybody's thoughts in the comments about how you feel about phone addiction, whether you have it, whether you think phone addiction is even real. You know, there's a lot of people in this world that feel like things are excuses and, you know, don't, don't, don't believe. Back in my day, we never had phones. We would just sit and stare at the wall and we'd really enjoy it. Do you know what, Gerald? Good for you, but I'm actually a little bit jealous of you because I would love to be able to just stare at a wall and find peace. Not only does it steal time from me, it steals, this, it can't be good for my health. I've got little divots, look at this, look, look at the shape of this little finger compared, this is one that I hold my phone. So when you hold your phone, it's like this, isn't it? You know, you hold your phone like that when you're in bed or whatever you are. Let me turn the um, thing off. Look at the div, look at the divot just here, the dent. It's changed shape. You can't really see it on there. Excuse my bitten fingernails. Yeah, my wrist hurts, my eyes hurt. We are not designed to have that kind of stimulation of the mind, um, of the eyes, the blue light. Our bodies are not designed to be spending a lot of our time holding something like this. It's just bad, I'm sick of it. But I also need my phone, my phone is my livelihood. So it's like, what do I do? How do I get past this? Or at least reduce it. One of the things I've thought about doing is releasing a video and then not checking the comments straight away as soon as I get one. Because I like to respond to you guys as quickly as possible, but that's definitely not helping. Also, once I finish photographing and uploading to my laptop, put my phone in another room, then come back and sit down and do my listing. Because I'll, I'll scroll while I'm listing as well. I'll list and I'll be like, put some on. Well, I could just put an educational video on YouTube, which I watch a lot of. And just have that running in the background instead. There's loads of different things I've been trying. But my main... The main reason why I want to stop this is because... When I'm laying in bed trying to sleep. I say trying to sleep. I can't sleep very well. My sleep is rubbish. So I need to be awake, 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 awake. Until bang, I crash. That's the only time I can sleep. I can't be like my missus. Bless her heart. She goes, right, feeling a bit tired now. I'm going to go to bed. Trots upstairs. Sleep in 10 minutes. So jealous. So jealous. I need to run myself down and then crash. But one of the things I'm doing while I'm trying to crash out is scrolling, scrolling, watching junk, seeing what's what. And it's very, very frustrating. But one of the first steps in healing is admitting you have an issue, isn't it? I admitted this to Emma recently. I told her that I think I've got a phone addiction and I want to try and sort it out. Senston basketball sold for £11 free postage. Just one of the many things that I have reduced recently just to shift it on. Let's see if I can do this. I 
That's the most I've ever done in my life. I think you just got to spin it and just trust it's going to stay on your finger. <laughs> I think we'll leave it with that. £11. And then we've sold for £12.99 this Yonex Golf Club. £12.99 doesn't seem like a lot, but they're under a kilo and they're under 120, so they send us a small parcel of every for £2.89 or £2.97, whatever it is. So yeah, my name is Ricky and I have a phone addiction, one that I'm going to go into some kind of recovery for. So if I don't respond to your messages even longer than I already do, which is a long time for some people, and I don't respond to your comments straight away after a video, then you know why. And if I do, then you know that I am not currently doing very well on my reduction of screen time. I'm not disappearing. I'm just gonna try and not be so on my phone. Does that make sense? <laughs> so let me know your own experiences. Are you a eBay reseller who has the application on their phone and Google search and all these things that you need in order to run your business? An Amazon seller, a bit of both Amazon, eBay, and content creator. Are you one of these people that also realizes, like, shit, I am on my phone a lot and I'm doing a lot of doom scrolling and time wasting on my phone? I have bad eyes and my wrists hurt and my head is fuzzy and I can't sleep. Are you one of these people? Let me know down in the comments and let me know what it is that you're gonna try and do to reduce this or have done to reduce this and help a brother out. I need help. Love you all, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the other side. This would never happen to our grandparents. <laughs>